We're going to talk about arithmetic sequences. Arithmetic sequences are sets of numbers where the difference is the same between any two consecutive terms. Consecutive means one right after the other. And the difference between each one has to be the same. In this, it is 2 from 8 is 6, and 8 to 14 is 6, and 14 to 20 is 6. And we call that the common difference. We want to figure out how to create an equation that is going to tell us a sequence way far out. Here we've picked the 23rd sequence and we don't want to list each one. So we want to develop an equation where we can go ahead and solve that and find any term that we want in the sequence. So here I have filled out our chart. We have term, value, and difference. This is the first term. This is the second term third term, fourth term, and so on. For the first term, the value is 2. For the second term, the value is 8. Third term, value 14. Fourth term, the value is 20. Now that you can see, we don't have any difference here because this is where we start, but between the next term, it's 6, 6, 6. You can see where it's going. So we're going to start by creating a formula where n is going to be any term. It's our unknown, we can put it in whatever term we want to find, we can substitute it in for n, and then we can solve and figure it out. So n is our term. We're going to multiply that term by the difference, and our difference here in, in this sequence is 6. Now, the last part to get this equation is a little confusing, but once you go through it a few times, you'll understand it. Multiplying the difference by the term alone does not give us the right answer. So for example, if I want to find the third term and I take the 3 for the third term number, term number 3, times by 6, I get 18. I do not get 14. So what do I have to do to the 18 to get the correct answer? Well, I would get 18, but I really want 14, so I would have to subtract 4. Let me go over that one more time. N is the term number. So, let's just pick a different one this time. Let's pick the second term. And if I take 2 and I times it by the difference, which is 6, so... 2 times 6 is 12. We know that value is really 8. What do I have to do in order to get from 12 to 8? I need to take away 4. And you'll notice that it will be true for each term. Each term is the same. So I have created the formula. The first thing I did was say the term number n, the term number 1, 2, 3, 4, multiplied by the common difference, which I found 6. And then I multiplied those two together. I got the answer for that term and said, okay, that's not the answer I want. What do I have to do to get to the correct answer? So now that I've tested my formula, I'll go ahead and test it with 20. So 20 is the fourth term, 4. So 4 times 6 is 24. Now I want to take away 4, and that gives me 20. Again, my, my solution works, so now I can go ahead and find the term that I want to find. And the original question is, what is the 23rd term to this sequence? And that's easy. I just take 6 times 23 and subtract 4, and I get my answer. So let's go ahead and do that. 23 times by 6, it's 138, subtract 4, and I get 134. This is how you solve an arithmetic sequence. Again, arithmetic sequence is defined when you have a common difference and it's the same difference between each consecutive term. All right, go ahead and subscribe if you liked our videos and if you have any questions, leave me a comment. If you have any 
questions that you're working on in school, I'll be happy to solve them if I can. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.